2019 goals or resolution is it's called this session aka uh, the session called as um lesson with ruby Happy 2020 everyone. So this is my first video. My first 2020 video. First of all, let me just ask you guys. How you guys are doing? How's 2020 treating you? Okay, so you guys were wondering why am I having like this hair piece and my glasses and you know I did like a look makeup look. So because I did a makeup video. So I'll be posting it the following week or the week after so do watch this space today's video it's gonna be something that uh what i learned in 2019 a lot happened 2019 for me especially so the theme of this video is going to be what i learned in 2019 youtube rewind 2019 uh what does 2019 has taught me i think we all can give pet to ourselves like you know you survive a year, you know, pat yourself guys, everybody, pat yourself. Uh, it's fair for us to go and, you know, recall and see what had happened. So this is what happened in my 2019. Check it out. I went to a countdown to start my year with my friends and Faisal Tahir performed. And it was unexpected because I'm a huge fan of Faisal Tahir. I decided to speak in front of camera more often last year and I did a lot a lot of uh, talking in front the reason was to be more brave and to speak in front of people so it was a good experience I weigh 70 kilo oh my god TMI ah! okay there's a lot of TMI here I weigh 70 kilo. I weigh very heavy and it was, there are certain things that happened to me that I really felt very insecure about myself. At the time I was like, you know, girl, you're 25, you know, you, you now is the time for you to take care of yourself and, you know, be healthy about it. So, I took that year to really, you know, lost the weight and look a bit lean, look a bit smaller inside. You see my look, uh, I will show it my previous and my after so this is how I look I didn't lose a lot of weight just enough but I want to still continue more because uh, I kind of miss the feeling of pain you know that, that pain that you get like ah oh, and then when you check yourself out and you'll be like oh I look good tried a lot of bubble tea I also had my first staycation with my bunch of friends. Uh, it was fun. We had a lot of activities. We had a lot of fun and it was awesome. As you can see in this video, it was crazy. Also, I graduated last year. Finally, I graduated from degree of psychology. It was the most hectic three and a half years of my life. But it was all worth it because I get to meet my friends and I made so much of memories with them and it was it was a it was a experience that I will never forget. Today I had a presentation to do. 2019 was also the year of me going on my comfort zone and speaking in front of crowds and people. I went out of my comfort zone. It was so scary. Honestly, if I did not try to speak in front of people, I think I wouldn't I wouldn't, I, I would still be the timid person. I went for a dance class and it was so fun that I decided to post it in Instagram and the thing just blew up and it is still growing and I don't know how it is still growing but yeah, it is still growing. Remember Danny Sin that I mentioned earlier? Actually, he was the one who taught us to dance. I ate so much of Korean barbecue and I had such a good time with my friends. We are having <laughs> Cheers. What a 
is she doing? <laughs> I'm actually quite an extroverted person, but I think when it comes to making new friends, I'm not really um, good at it. It was very scary for me to make new friends because, you know, sometimes you just don't know how people be like. So me going out my comfort zone and especially just approaching people <laughs> and just like, like, talking to people like and ask, like, hey, how are you and so on, hi, hi, have hi, actually... Hi, hi. Say hi, say hi. I, I kind of find that I think a, a lot of us have wanted to try to make new friends but it's just you know it's not easy I learned that you know sometimes it's okay to just say hi to strangers not all of them but once in a while I decided to take breaks this year and I went to Melaka twice and there's always something new every time I visit Melaka I decided to go out of my comfort zone and plan to go to concerts alone but along the way I met new friends also I get to go to my first ever concert and it's none other than J Park Not to forget, I also went to the Rose concert. So I went to concerts in 2019. Last but not the least, 2019 is the year I started my YouTube channel. I started my YouTube channel because I just want to rent out my personal feelings. I still continue posting videos and I posted 11 videos in my YouTube channel. Also, I hit my first milestone. I grow a lot as a person. In 2019, I was 25. And I think 25 year old was me. It's a mix of experimenting new stuff and also a existential crisis. I'm not gonna lie, I broke down a lot. I want things to happen a certain way and some things just didn't happen that way. I was having a lot of self-doubt about myself. Uh, what am I going to do in my life after that? You know, I'm, I'm gonna, now 2020, I'm gonna be 26, you know. And it's quite scary it's because it's adult it's already adulthood, I'm no more a kid anymore. So the fear of growing up was real. We also took the time to communicate to friends. And you know, some of us are still going through the same thing. I learned a lot about patience in terms of myself because I do realize that I get impatient very fast. I want things to happen immediately, I want things to go Okay, maybe I want things to just go in my way. Like, oh, okay, this sounds good. This 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 looks good. I want things to go my way, and I think that's why a lot of self doubt happened. So it was 20, 2019 was a lot of ups and downs. Personal growth wise, I was doing all right, but some stuff like emotionally, I was still um, lacking in terms of emotional growth. I was still very anxious. I was very afraid. Yeah, I was still very afraid. I was not living in the moment and you know 2020 I have few things that I have not checked from 2019 and um, I'm just hoping that 2020 will be that year for me to be happy in terms of um, growth growth wise personal growth all kinds of growth so what I want like, in 2020 is to learn more to, to pick up new skills you know 
and to refresh what I've learned also like to pick up new skills to go more out of my comfort zone to try out new things um, to be more comfortable of myself I've learned a lot in 2019 I learned a lot about myself so I'm just hoping that 2020 will be a year of more growth I'm gonna post I hope I can post more dancing videos because previously I posted my dance videos and I love I love posting it I don't know why I just feel more confident of myself posting it you know to the public of me dancing but I don't really that's good but I kind of like that you know I'm confident I'm posting of myself so I want to do a lot more stuff so I hope Watch this space, watch this channel, subscribe to me. <laughs> oh my god, shameless blog. So, watch this space, guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video.